If you know you want to vibe with your favorite star, don't go nowhere. Hey, yo, Miss G, let's go. Let's um, so normally, uh, when is that time of the year when we want to uh, do our donations, uh, another donation? I, one of the people I reached out to, I'm sure you've heard her name in most of my interviews, is Auntie Leonora Buckman. Uh, she's the vice president of the women, uh, in the president Ankasangasa, of the women in the arts. And mostly she gives me, when I ask her, she gives me a list of people. And one of the people she's been insisting, in fact, very, very insistent, she say. Uncle Willie Pa Willie maybe will buy that's what she asks me constantly. You know, she's been insisting that I come see is the man we're going to be speaking to um, very shortly. I know some of you are very familiar with him uh, because you've seen him on the screen, uh, you've seen him go off the screen, and you've heard a lot of stories about him. But when was the last time anybody thought to find out how he's doing? Is the reason we are here today. But I first want to speak to Auntie Leo on why she kept insisting we should come here and why she's so concerned, you know about a lot of uh, her senior colleagues and even her mates uh, who have maybe somewhat retired or who are not longer on the screens. Thank you for bringing us all the way to Sugakope. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, I, like I was saying, so you kept insisting, like you say, maybe we'll buy a power religion, power religion, and why are you insisting? Why were you insisting? Yeah, thank you. Um, actually, I was, um, I have always been touched, you know, by the way we treat our veterans. But probably, particularly, I have been very much uh, attached uh, to him, you know, I because I was watching him when he started. He actually, if I am not mistaken, he actually made National Theatre what it is now. And it is, it is so sad that we, we, we leave all these people behind. We don't even look for them. We don't even, you know, find out what is going on. And it's, it's sad. It, it really touches me. And for Willie, I remember the concert party days. You know, if we heard about Bobo Kala, we heard about um, 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 Nkomode, you know, Willie was the first person who took them to Europe. And they became who they are. And he was actually so, 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 so um, stressed, you know, about how the National Theatre should be. He went to a whole commission on culture. He went, he, he's actually saved a whole lot, you know. And I was with him, look, look, looking at all that. And um, when sometimes when these young ones ask you and you mention his name, they go like, oh, why pony pa will you know? And it touches my soul, you know, that, hey, is this what all of us are going to be at the end, you know? So, and if he's in Sugan Kopi, of course, people say that, oh, the place is too far, we can't go. But when he was making you, when he was actually coming, to, on your screens in your homes, he was like, hey, hey, papa, where, where, where. and you see him in town, you follow him. But now you say the place is far. You know, when he was here, he was also coming to Accra for everything that he was doing for us to smile, you know. And now he's here. <laughs> Actually, I'm so emotional as we, we came. You, you, you heard him saying that it's, it's, it's strange that. I'm now even asking for directions to his house because he, he was expecting that I should even be taking people here, you know. But um, it's all my fault. He knows that I'm not mobile and coming here is a little bit of a challenge for me, you know. So when people tell me that they are coming, this is not the first time. People have told me they are coming and I tell him and they don't come. You know, they, I start calling them and they will go like, oh, a hoa. You see, but it's, it's, it isn't right, actually, if I, I don't even know what to say, mm. you know, but uh, it, 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 it's not easy for me as I sit here right now, yeah. I know that you have a challenge uh, of handling all these veterans because of your role. But now let's switch and talk to um, Uncle Willie, as some of us will call him. Some people call him Pa Willie. But a lot of us who know him know him as William Ado. And um, the story is a lengthy one. But today we came here because we have um, 
like we do products from Wilma Africa rice, there's vegetable oil in there, um, there's also soap, uh, we did a combination of both uh, bath and uh, uh, washing soap and then uh, the seasoning tablets, we thought that, well, Sugakofe is still Ghana, uh, so it's good to visit a veteran and take his blessings with us and also you know that, you know, you satisfied your conscience, knowing there's somebody that you also loved on the screen. Thank you very much. I must say I'm privileged to have you in my little place. Uh, thank you so much. We thank God for a day like this. I think when I, was, I came here, I said off camera that I had had opportunity to speak to you in the early days um, at the National Theatre when I was still at the Multimedia Group. And I know it's been a very long journey. Um, I'm sure people will still want to know how you truly have been, what's happening to your eyesight now. How is everything with you? Well, um, <laughs> I must say, I'm trying very hard to keep my cool hmm. because there's nothing one can do under the circumstances. Uh, I've been blind for almost 10 years now and uh, completely blind. I mean, I don't see anything at all. I can only hear your voice and things like that. The whole world, sometimes it's black, completely black, or sometimes it's completely white. And you don't, you know, understand what that means. It means I don't see anything at all. But I've been grappling with this for the past uh, number of years that I've told you. And, uh, you know, always praying to God, hoping that one day a different story will be told, that I have regained my sight. Until then, we just keep our fingers crossed hoping for a miracle to happen. I, I, I know that, I don't know, it's uh, 10 years, and like you say, sometimes the world looks black yeah. and sometimes it's white. Yes. I can only imagine how you feel on a daily. Yes, uh, it's an experience that I'm going through. You see, <clears throat> to be blind after 60 years of, you know, seeing, being, you know, able to see and move anyhow and do anything I like, and then <laughs> to become completely blind, when you can't even move to, any, to do anything at all, not, you know, you don't even know where the, uh, the, your phone, uh, where the, the, this thing, yeah, then all of that thing. The script you can't read. You can't, I mean, you don't can't do anything at all. Even if I want to, excuse me, urinate, my boy will have to send me there. Anything he has to keep the phone, and if somebody you know calls or somebody, then you rush from wherever he is to come and give it to me, or talk to the person and things like that. And if I have to write a message to you, I have to dictate to him and all of that thing. You know, but uh, like I said. <laughs> we are still soldiering on. Ten years, and like you said, this is you who I'm sure was the breadwinner of the family. You go, come back, and people eat. Ten years, and they have to, you know, find their way around helping you. It must be tough on them. Oh, it is. It is. You know, of late, things have not been... You know, uh, things have been a bit difficult for everybody, everybody, including you yourself sitting here. Mm. You know, so the same applies to all of us. And those who have to do some washing for me, who have to cook for me, who have to do, oh no. My family has been very, very supportive and, uh, you know, I thank them for my life, you know, because either to, so if they have been somewhere, uh, you know, they will have neglected you, they are tired and things like that. But, you know, good friends like you and others and, you know, loved ones do come to my aid from time to time. And uh, it's, 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 been, it's been fine, you know. 
I can't complain, you know, because there's nothing to complain about. I mean, you know, I don't know who I can complain to who will solve those problems. So I just have to bear with the situation as it is. Um, I want to go back to when, first of all, we said it would, I, I, I think that's what we heard, there was glaucoma. Yes. And there was, I know that some Ghanaians tried to raise some money. I remember that Bularia at a certain point exactly. from also exactly. got some fans. Joy News had some uh, people from abroad also supporting. Exactly. What happened? How did it escalate to total blindness? Uh, you know, when it started, I went for an operation on the eye. And that was when people started, you know, because uh, to, to pay for the uh, operation and all of that, thing, you know, and the uh, transport movement and the um, application of uh, medicine, you know, eye drops and all of those things. So those monies went into, into that. But the interesting thing is that it's not only the glaucoma, there are other, you know, small ailments that are disturbing the body. You know, glaucoma, yes, I, I have hernia here as I speak. There are so many things that would be embarrassing for me to be the saying bar. here on the, this thing. Mm. You know, the, 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 you know uh, what do you call This sugar, uh, this thing, how do you call it? Black blood pressure, diabetes, all of these things are inside me there as I, I speak. So when I get these monies and what my this, and I use this money to try to bring the situation under control. So it's not a one-way traffic as, you know, it may sound. There are other things that do worry me and which will make me, you know, wish that I'm in a position that I could move about because all of these things I did myself. I mean, I didn't have to, you know, until this blindness happened that I, I can no longer do anything on my own, you know. Uh, so it's been tough, yes, but uh, um, I, I don't know what to say, but... This man is, came here at a very, you know, Bolare and Sefa Kain, Kwame Sefa Kain, and the host of others. I, I, I cannot mention their name. They've been so, so, so supportive. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank them. I bless them. May God himself shower blessings on them. In Jesus' name. And, and so after the operation, uh, was that when you were told that it wasn't going to work? Um, at what, I just want to understand, at what point did it look like a hopeless situation? You know, the, I, I was under the impression that the, at that time we had just won a, an award and a film, uh, what is called... Uh, Children of the on the mountain or something of the mountain or something like that, and we were to travel to the U.S. You know, the crew, and I, I mean the 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 the, 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 team? the team. Some of us were selected, including Mami Dokunu uh, and a few others. You know, so then the eye started, you know, giving me problems, and then the doctor gave me the assurance that. This one is just something that can be cleared. And therefore, that was just about a week to our travel. I've got my passport, the five-year visa to the U.S. and all of that thing when you're already in. Then so they did the operation for me. Oh, my dear sister, it was terrible. Mm. Pain. Hi, 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 hi. I don't know. So they did the operation for me on the left. Then I came home just so that I could start getting my things ready for the, for the trip. Mm. Ah, 
Then, you know, things started deteriorating to a level that was becoming something as I had to move straight away back to the this thing. Before long, the, the one, the right which was not affected by that has also developed some problem. In, hey. in the space of how long? Just a week. Wow. Just a week. Wow. And I, I, I couldn't believe myself. So that's, that's the rapidity with which this whole thing happened. It's, it's, it's a mystery for me, you know. So I, that, that, that's how it, it, it started and that's how it has ended or that's how it has been since. So if we said 10 years ago, we are talking about somewhere 2012, is that how Yeah, long that's ago? right, that's right, that's right. And uh, I must say, uh, the uh, ex-president uh, JDM okay. has oh has been so supportive. In fact, it's one pillar pillar of support for me. Hmm. For you know, every quarter, this man will always send Mr. Beautiful hmm. to bring me, you know, some food items wow. and things like that. And so, for him alone. I have to stand up because mm. that man has proven that, I mean, he really cares, you know. He has people at this place. But, you know, it is good when somebody does some good to you. You, 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 you appreciate, yeah, you will show appreciation because it is not fair. The world is not fair already. So, you know, we have to take note of some of these things and, 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 you know, just like you want to take responsibility for some of the things that has gone bad, you must also be there to show appreciation. For you, for example, for coming all the way to Accra, uh, from Accra to my home here at Tefle. I, I must be very, 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 very happy with just your presence here and just interviewing me so that the other people of the world who know what's going on in my life. And I think that it's a wonderful gesture from your end. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But Sister Liu, God bless you. God bless you too. You know, another thing that people lack, you know, is the fraternity. I, I know because I work in this space that the Actors Guild is not a formidable force like we would have thought that it would be. Uh, but people will say, what about your colleagues? You know, what about them? Like you said, just their presence here, maybe a weekend trip here, just come and see. Do you get people, you know, that you've worked with remembering the good old days? Yes. Uh, like I said, there was a time that I heard about uh, someone in Mankesim who could um, restore the site in the glaucoma as it were. So I went there for one solid year and was just wasted money and uh, things like that you know, because it's one thing he can't do, you know, even if he, he turns his head and starts walking with his uh, hands on the ground. Um, and uh, the artist gave... Before I go there, do, did you know that he couldn't do it? Had he done it for people that you had heard of? Because I keep hearing about this central region trip a lot of people have gone to. Is this somebody that people knew had healed others? It came in the graphic of all papers that this man, John Saki, you know, had healed people, some from Ivory Coast or so, and that... You know, he's got the magic wand to, to, to be able to, you know, just heal or, you know, bring about a cure to, 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 to our problems, as it were. So, based on that, I got his contact from Graphic Corporation, uh, this uh, sister, Bokma. Jane, you uh, back Thank you very much, and you know, so she also helped in a lot of ways because at that time she had come in to to do uh, uh, 
a story on me in the uh, what graphic showbiz. the graphic showbiz. Thank you very much. You know where I put my kids. So she was very instrumental in saying that as she was so you know after all, never no no one years no no harm in trying. So that's how it came. Uh, <laughs> one got there, you know, and uh, the the actors guild. Uh, came there to, you know, give me some something, you know. They they brought me some um, some cash cash and things like that, and I'm grateful for that, you know. Uh, scenario, uh, you know. Kasum Kasum led them, and they came to uh, this uh, uh, opari. Uh, Irene. Irene of Paris and uh, uh, this uh, Fiati and the others, okay. they were came, you know. So, uh, you know, I. And, but the thing that I mean, most people don't seem to know is that the artist guild. I am the one who had money to bring it to the level before my sickness and I had to leave the scene, which has brought it back to now. It's feud after feud, uh, the, you know, people are always complaining. Nobody is, you know, I don't know who is in charge now and I don't know how things are going. You know, everybody is scattered and the center can no longer hold. I don't know, I don't know. It's such a, such a shame because uh, a father there and myself worked out so hard to go and register the Actors Guild to, you know, have the first, um, what, election. yes, election, and which we brought, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Fred Amogi, you know, to take over, uh, you know, and then, because I was then the interim uh, president, mm -hmm. and I used to call uh, Leo the first lady because they were, they were very supportive in those things. When we were fighting, for the you know liberation of our, our our guild, you know, because it was then in the hands of only one person who nobody knew what was happening and were all there. So you know they were always with, you know around me and we were doing the you know fighting and things like that. And we finally got this until a new Dewey came onto the scene and things like that and things started going haywire. But. You know, that has been my distinct. I've been very, 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 very instrumental in setting up the Actors Guild of Ghana, which is supposed to be a welfare, uh, you know, uh, organization where, you know, when you get into any difficulty or when your situation gets to a point, we should be able to come to your, to support you or aid you in one way or the other. Uh, like you said, I'm, I'm just going to ask the last one on the guild and then we move on. You know, having served in the capacities that you have, you know, from the National Theatre to the, to the uh, National uh, Commission on Culture, and now in the state, was there a package for you as retirement package? Is the state still taking care of you? Are there things like that to honor, you know, the contribution you have made uh, to the growth of the art? A grandma will say from the way. I mean, uh, even when you were <laughs> strong on your two feet and going about and, you know, knocking on doors that could open, but nobody cares. When, 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 uh, back my, uh, uh, oh, you uh, know, you know, interviewed me and, and wrote the story on me, I well, made like, a passionate appeal to the president of the land to, to, to come to my aid and things like that. Nobody has ever, you know, since that time. So, please. Uh, that one, well, yeah. Whose tenure was that? Was that still not John no, Dramani no, Mahama? No, 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 no. This, no, okay. Oh, it's recent. Oh, yes. So Akufa, those governments. Yes. Wow. Oh yes. Oh no no, no no no. Did you do you regret that you had to put enough of, of that that much of your energy? Maybe somebody say if you're a businessman, maybe you'd have been recouping from investments you've made. Do you regret that you had to put that energy, all that creativity, into, uh, you know, a sector that doesn't seem to recognize you in the state? 
you know, I trained in the U.S. and Britain. So I know the value that is placed elsewhere on those of us in the arts and all of that. And it was my belief then that one will be able to turn things around. Like, I always made this comparison. Like football of today and football of yesterday. I mean soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, when, in those days, when you see somebody interested in playing soccer, they say he's a or mm -hmm. he's uh, never do well. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, when uh, you, somebody says he's in the ass, he's a dancer, he's a, a, you know, what do you call it, a, a, a concert man and things like that. You are thought as a drunkard and a hopeless, you know. So my, this thing, you know, when I got the university scholarship to go abroad for further studies was to ensure that when I return, and which is why I return, otherwise I wouldn't have come back if I didn't have any a uh, 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 passion that I want my country to also to turn things around in my country so that you know it will be well. But I came and I don't want to blame anybody. <laughs> the system is very difficult, and uh, we just have to continue hoping that. Someone will take over and make things happen. Uh, like uh, Auntie Liu is there. She is trying to organize the women, the female, uh, you know, and uh, folk and things. Don't, don't, you know. So I'm hoping that it all is not lost. That once there is life, there is hope. And once I'm not dead, except that I have lost my sight, and people like her and others are around, I'm sure one day we shall overcome. I like the fact that you say once you are not dead and you are still alive, it tells me also that you feel and you believe that you could one day regain your sight. Oh yes, I for that one. I, I can promise you, it will happen in my lifetime before I close my eye. And that day, I will invite you to my place, wherever I am, so that I will what do I, you know, embrace you and look at your face for the first time and perhaps tell you I love you and I thank you. But what else? What can we do for you at this point? I'm sure people are asking. So, yes, we've now found where he is. We've now heard the story once more. And the, uh, uh, the, the update on the story we've heard in previous time. What can be done for you? What do you wish that people would dance for? Maybe for this time around, maybe I could further guess to change his mind. Now seeing the interview that a story was written and an appeal was made to him. As somebody who says he loves the arts. Mr. President, we've heard you say that you love the arts. These are the veterans we have still alive. At least let's get to see something done to them. It shows us how much you love the arts. May they not go when we decide to have state burials for them. So what do you want? Let's make an appeal one more time. Uh, all I need is that electricity be restored to me here. Because what happened was that there was a time that they said they were changing meters and things like that. They were introducing some new meters. Mm. And then it went, when they changed it for nearly a year or two, no bill was coming for us to know. Then all of a sudden, the bill that came was about close to 5,000 cities. That's the Uganda cities. Yeah, mm. 5,000 new Ghana cities. Mm. Aye. And by that time, too, I was blind. So, you know, in any way, where am I going to get money to, you know, that kind of thing? And, you know, <laughs> the little that we have is what we are, you know, balancing ourselves with and all of that thing. So, if I get somebody to, you know, be able to do that, you know, it's some philanthropies, I'll be so happy. So, now, as it stands, you are in total darkness. Oh, yes. Both. Physically, 
and externally. Oh. <laughs> Do we know how much bill we've accrued after the so we, or the dismissed uh, the lines after it became five thousand, yeah, or do we have no, more no, accrued? No, no, no. Mm. It's it's just stopped there because they came they realized I'm not in a position to this mm. year, so it that's what is on now. How long has this been? Uh, it's been about five years now. Jesus Christ! Yes. No electricity on this compound oh, yes. for the last five years. Yes. How does everybody survive? And when we go about to, you know, charge our phones and uh, around. A veteran, somebody who served us, takes his phone across the road to charge. Oh, Ghana. Just 5,000 Ghana cities. Wow. And, uh, you know, one other thing which is very difficult for me to say is that... Uh, you know, if I could get something as a mobility, something like Prajia to, you know, where one can, you know, because you can move without. Mm. Uh -huh. Right now, if you say I should meet you in Accra, I have to come in a taxi mm. and you know the, the, cost. the cost and all of that thing. So I don't know, but... Uh, you know, otherwise, I just want to be very moderate. The, the light is much more important. Oh, but yeah, if I get any additional this thing, mm -hmm. I only thank my God. Amen. And I'm sure people would come. Um, another thing is, so, so now the family would definitely have to fend for you. Yes. So how do they also get money to fend for themselves and fend for you as well? Is there a, some kind of business that maybe your children or anybody is running that is able to fetch at least for themselves and for you as well? Uh, it's only my daughter. Is she not here? No, she she's come. not inside. Ah, she's not inside. I'll let you see her. Mm. She has, you know... Uh, establish a, a barbering shop okay, in just in the front house. of the house mm -hmm. there, and that's how you know. So we are all relying on that. Thing. You know, it's a big compound, mm. and all the people in it are all relations, and no, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm not hired anything to anybody, you know, so you because here, yeah, you know, I I don't believe in that. I but this is your house. This is my house. Mm. How long ago did you put on this structure? Uh, I must say about 30 years now. Mm. So even as I speak about the electrical thing, if I get somebody today, I have to change all the wiring, wiring. Uh -huh, and all of mm. that thing. So mm. it's not going to be that easy. You know. Wow. We are glad that we are able to tell the story. Uh, we hope and we know that we have very benevolent Ghanaians um, who will definitely come to your aid. Um, mm -hmm. We hope that the next time we are here, uh, we bring some extra good news to you yes, right. and the electricity situation would have been solved. But we are grateful that you, you accepted us into your homes and we are glad that we came to see you this afternoon. I am so, so, so overwhelmed. Uh, you know, if this blindness could share some tears, mm. you see how indeed I am touched. You know, you speak well, you, was, you are a professional. Thank you very much. I mean, you know, God himself will bless you and will give you the direction that you become a very top personality in the profession that you have chosen. I thank you so very much. I thank you. Thank you. And I thank you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir.